a Honda CRV owner here <clears throat> and I'm having a problem where I'm driving down the highway and the car just shuts off. Usually when it's hot out and I have the air conditioning on. I've tried all kinds of things. I replaced the distributor, wires and plugs, fuel filter, ignition switch, fuel pump, looked all over and Googled everything about it and everything I did, nothing worked. The problem still came back. So I finally found somebody that talked about the main main relay. So went to a junkyard, got a main relay, it only cost two dollars. I think brand new they're like fifty dollars. So that solved the problem. So I'm just recreating it to show you how easy it is to actually change it. So when it, it solved my problem totally. Now the car runs fine and I love my 2001 Honda CRV again. So the first thing is it's in the glove box. And on the side there's these little clips that if you push them together they pop out. And they look like this. There's one on either side. And I'm holding the phone doing it with one hand, so that's how easy these are to pop out. And that's the other. Then the whole glove box just falls down. And in here, that's the main relay. It controls the fuel pump and the ignition system. I didn't realize it also controls the ignition system, which seemed to be the problem of shutting off. <clears throat> Other Hondas are known that if it shuts off, you jiggle the key, and if jiggling the key shuts the car off, then it's probably your ignition switch. But that wasn't my problem. So it's this little creature in here that's $2 in a junkyard. So after this is down, you do have to go to the side and take this panel off, which the screw is right after the glove box is open. The screw is right up there at the top. Take the screw out. And this whole panel falls right off and then there's a bolt back here that is a 10 millimeter that you take out and the whole switch or the relay just comes out and then there's a clip there Okay, with two hands, it's easy to take that clip out, and you just install the new one. Put that right in. This goes up and in. Just put the screw back in for the bolt. Tighten that up. That clips back into place. Put your screw in. is here they go back in with the glove box up and they just snap right back in and you do the same with the other side and you're good to go it's that simple um, sometimes this side piece doesn't go back in right but if you take out this screw which is just a plastic screw. This pops out and that snaps back in and looks right. 
and these are just plastic so you don't even have to really screw them in you just push it back in and back to normal everything's good I've been driving thousands of miles no issue at all and that's all it was a two dollar part and a job I could almost do with one hand and the other hand holding the phone so hope this helps everybody